All right, guys, so we have a lot to uh, talk about here. We do have, again, tensions continuing essentially to rise in the Red Sea. And I think this can have a very severe effect in terms of the uh, the oil and uh, it actually becoming a little bit more expensive overall in the next coming weeks leading into the actually new year. Um, as we are starting to see these tensions are not slowing down. Uh, we do see Bitcoin continuing to consolidate in this region. We're going to talk about the new all-time high for the traditional markets, NASDAQ, S&P 500 guys. Um, really doing pretty well for the past you know weeks or so while Bitcoin actually is retracing um you know put you know putting in a, a pullback here more likely for further continuation to the upside uh, or maybe you know bitcoin can be signaling uh maybe a top while uh while you know the nasdaq continues to essentially rally here but we're going to be talking about also uh, some of the opportunities that have been presented here. Is it too late to actually be getting into this? Uh, now, this is the AVAX inscriptions uh, that you can actually get into. So if you're familiar with the uh, Bitcoin ordinals, um, you know, if you've been getting into Doge, BRC20, DRC20s, guys, as well, this is another opportunity where you can go in and then start minting these uh, into existence essentially uh, we're going to be talking about titan x uh, zen on avalanche what's been going on there so stick around to the end of the video guys you don't want to miss this information so let's go ahead and get into it so we're uh, seeing basically reports coming out that the u.s navy is essentially pulling out of the persian gulf now we do know this from you know the last time they actually sent some of these uh navy navy ships out there due to the conflict and what's been going on with you know israel and, and palestine there but with with that being said guys uh this is only gonna put more pressure in regards to again the the oil i i would uh suggest more likely here that you know oil has actually found the bottom so if we actually look at the uh the chart for oil here uh, and bring this actually up we can see that you know we've been in a downtrend for you know quite some time in regards to oil overall and, and more likely looking for an actual particular bounce from here guys um you know i'm looking at targets more like around 84 to anywhere from uh, 94 dollars uh, for for this so it's something to keep into consideration to keep an eye on guys um you know watching this uh, closely as it actually happens but let's go ahead and jump on to uh bitcoin uh and uh, just talk about the lower time frames here as we're continuing to basically range on the lower time frames consolidate in this region and like we were saying in the previous video guys as we wanted bitcoin to essentially continue to consolidate in this area it's not too bad for bitcoin you know to look for you know these higher uh, highs and higher low structures before further breakout above the forty three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars here uh really not much happening in the past couple of days again just uh, you know we're seeing these uh again these volatile volume wicks here on the uh on the four hourly and uh, more likely we're going to continue to see this and and hopefully range in in this area now as long as you know there are some uh strategies basically firing off we're gonna actually take those uh those trades here guys so let's go ahead and, and talk about the uh, nasdaq real quick so we can see the nasdaq essentially um you know getting close to or more likely breaking new all-time highs here and uh this is you know this has been the trend coming in back from all the way of october guys october of 26 really putting in this really nice uptrend rally you know with higher highs and higher lows on the uh lower lower time frame and uh you know while bitcoin is actually taking a, a pullback you know in regards to this so far the nasdaq is actually rallying up 18 percent guys so not too bad in terms of gains coming in for the past month or so uh and, and continuing to essentially move on forward and i expect this to continue as long as you know we don't close more likely above the uh, six, uh, 16,395. If that area actually breaks here, we're more look, uh, likely looking at targets, you know, coming in back from $16,000. Again, um, we can see here, guys, you know, usually when um, a chart or an asset essentially breaks uh, a certain structure, specifically like all time highs, usually it likes to come back, retest that region as support and then you know continue on and upwards from there uh now we were basically counting on this area to come back once you know once we 
you know put this uptrend there was a bit of a gap here as you can uh, see from this area guys and more likely we said that this was going to come back fill some orders before further you know continuation from there now on the uh, mid time frames you know it's not out of the question maybe the nasdaq does come back you know to the 15,500 area you know finding a bit of a support for further continuation now that is on the mid uh, time frame now for us to continue that uptrend again as i said we're looking for uh, 16,400 and further from there so let's go ahead and, and look at some of the opportunities that have been presented in the markets guys if you're not aware uh the avax inscriptions basically you can go in and you can go to uh, ava uh subscriptions.com uh, where you can basically start inscribing on the AVAX network. And, um, you know, whether or not this is actually particularly too late, it's still a, a, you know, a market cap that's well below $100 million. So you're, we're sitting around $31 million. Um, if we look at the market uh, place, uh, the biggest one so far has been ASCT, which, um, you know, costed cents basically to, you know, mint this, guys. Uh, with that being said, so far, it's basically rallied, you know, more than a dollar and 32 cents. The other day it was around dollar 47. So, you know, this possibly can essentially go up further uh, in terms of a market cap. Um, one of the ones that I've actually gone into this, again, uh, I don't know if I'm particularly late, but again, I went on here and actually started inscribing and got uh, AVA uh, AS uh, as, um, as, as um, you know, it's, it's still a low market cap coin. Um, you can go to tokens here and you can actually uh, filter by progress and we can see by holder size uh, that AVA v so far um actually is still minting so if you want to go in here and start inscribing on this it has about thirty-three thousand holders i think this one has the most potential in terms of all the other ones here which has about 65 percent progress uh into it um and if you were to go in and want to actually mint this is the amount you would be getting okay per per basically a mint and usually this is costing roughly about you know cents here to to mint on on avax uh but if you want to you know degen into this area it is you know this is one of the coins that i would you know be getting into again this is not financial advice guys these are just speculation more likely for you know 10 or 15x and then you know selling it off from there uh, i don't i don't know in terms of uh, if there is any you know real use case utility in terms of these but you never know right it's a degen move that you can actually get into uh but again always apply caution apply risk management guys when getting into these but you know the risk to reward again you're basically minting at cents so uh yeah with, with that being said this is uh you know an area you can you know get into um if you're not familiar you just go in and you basically mint uh on the ones that are available you can go and purchase on the marketplace if you're actually looking to do that that you can you can you can go ahead and and, and uh you know do it that way instead of minting if they're not available uh for you to mint if it's a blackout basically uh but let's go ahead and, and talk about a little bit about titan x so we're continuing to see this v2 buy and burn essentially go up we're very close to about 14 million dollars so this is actually good to see overall again i've i've started uh you know these miners uh, since day one and they've been uh, profitable as you guys can see i've gone in done about three to four power and working my way up you know all the way to max power uh with that being said um i'm diversifying i'm taking some profits moving it to like xenify things like this where i think we'll be uh doing very well in the next you know year or so hopefully with with that um so um as we can see you know hopefully holding some diversifying is uh not too bad if we look at the uh, statistics here real quick we can see the liquid again it has about two uh two million uh the uh staked has about you know seven million so if you add that up it's about nine million and you add the the amount that are coming out every day so far it's been able to hold uh its price you know it's not doing too shabby in terms of this it's still very profitable overall for a lot of people that have been basically essentially getting into this from day one uh so far we've actually broken below our our key area that we're looking for to actually maintain 
for you know further posturing to the upside you know but it, it is what it is guys i think again as long as more people continues to sell um and there is you know more people getting into it you know that buy and burn feature will continue to to accumulate ho hopefully hold the price uh, way below you know all time lows right um this is still again these are brand new game theories guys again always apply caution right when you see and i come out with these type of you know uh with these type of games more likely sometimes these are going to go down in dollar value right as price goes down you want to essentially what you want at the end of the day hopefully is break even by the time this miner essentially comes out right that's what you want is that you more likely by the end of this the best thing you can have is that you break even and then from there whether or not you decide to essentially hold it for speculation well that is something you're going to have to apply and uh, work around and see what is best fit for you but for me personally again they've been very profitable so i've been diversifying in some other other ones and i've been holding some for you know future in regards to this um so again guys when you look at this when you go to coin gecko sometimes some of the crypto assets that are doing so well or you know some of these inscriptions you won't see them on the front page right and you really have to do your research and look and see where the opportunity is actually presented to you well there has been a lot of opportunity right with uh we've seen so far with avax inscription we've seen with brc20s essentially getting in and scribing or even you know getting into some of these other degen moves which have gone up substantially guys so i present you with some of these opportunities to take advantage of but again i mean at the end of the day guys there are risky plays but they do present you with a lot of opportunity and if bitcoin were actually to take a greater pullback here uh some of these people that have been holding on to these looking for you know crazy amount of gains some of that capital has been flowing into again brc 20s uh doge drc 20s you know avax so you know there has been other coins that have been doing phenomenally well that are not even in the top one 10 right one of the ones that have been doing phenomenally well is essentially solana guys okay but that's that's you know the maximum move that you can have in terms of you know being in the top 10 right looking at it and 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 uh, seeing to risk the reward you know getting back in at 100 days at 16 dollars and now it's at currently 76 dollars right there have been better plays that you could have gotten into to you know well over 20 30x and in, in regards to this guys so that's why it's important to essentially subscribe to this channel because i do show you the opportunities where you can actually get into um and you know maximize your overall portfolio guys i'll leave you off with this one i hope you enjoyed this video until next time bros as always stay profitable